Hello and welcome to Typeset. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your first project in Typeset and also give you a brief overview of what to expect when you first log in. First, I want to touch on our Learning and Resources button in the top right hand corner of your homepage. If you click it, you'll just load into our guided section of Typeset where we have different guides that teach you how to use Typeset. For instance, this one right here will load you into the editor and take you click by click on making your first project in Typeset. And then we have a few more guides below on specific topics like changing themes and fonts. And then lastly, we have what we call the Inspiration Gallery, where our marketing and design team teamed up to make 80 plus different templates for you to use right away as soon as you get into Typeset. You can preview them each on this page and determine if you like them. If you do, just click Use This Template and you'll get a copy in your account right away that you can start modifying instantly. In addition to that, I think it's a really great learning tool because you can use it to learn through osmosis from some of the best members of Typeset on how they approach making different kinds of content. Now to make your own project, all you have to do is click create in the top right hand corner. When you do, you'll get options like deck, document, and social media. I'm going to be totally honest with you, it doesn't matter which one you choose and that's actually a great thing that I'll touch on in a little bit. I chose deck in this instance which lends itself really well to things like decks, webinars, and presentations. Now that I'm in the editor, the best way to think of Typeset is like working in a word processor like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. And so with that in mind, I'm just going to go ahead and start typing in the top left side of our text editor. And you'll see here when I wrote in fitness, Typeset immediately gets me going in the middle with a preview. The call out here is that Typeset defaulted to using the title mode. So whatever I type first lends itself well to be a title though you don't always have to start with the title. That's just a default setting. Now, fitness isn't a great title for my presentation, so I'm going to use AI to spruce it up. I can do that by pressing tab on my keyboard. And when I do, before I get anything else going, the call out here is that Typeset understands that since I was in title mode first, that I want a title back out of it. So when I press enter, I'm going to get a title rather than say a large paragraph. And we even give you a few options to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And as you see here, types it immediately shifts everything around to still look great. Now, like with any word processor, I'm just going to go to my next line by pressing enter. And you'll notice that the call out here is that the text switched to normal text rather than staying on that title mode. So whatever I type now will be the body of my content. I'm going to use AI to get text going again. And I could do that by pressing slash on my keyboard. And this brings up a command menu with a bunch of different functions with AI mode at the top. But below that, you can notice that we have a bunch of different things like lists and polls, a variety of charts and buttons, GIFs, videos, and even Miro and Figma, as well as a lot of other stuff like social media. I'll touch on those briefly very soon. But first, I'm just going to choose AI mode. And again, I'm just going to type fitness. And you'll see that Typeset offers a solution here. And when I select it, types it immediately, shifted everything around to now incorporate this extra text. I still have emphasis on my title and then space for my normal text and even my logo. Now, lastly, the next step of the puzzle here is to let types it work its magic. I can do that by just clicking the magic wand icon that appears right here or on the bottom left side of the text card. When I select it, two things happen. Types it reads the content on my page to find images that make sense for it, or it'll offer me options that lend themselves well to just being uh, plain text rather than text plus an image. When I select the image, and if I go back to the magic wand, you'll notice that now all these layouts are totally different because now it's incorporating this image to make sense in the project. If I want to replace the image, all I have to do is go to the left-hand side in the text card and select replace. And when I do so, types it will load you into our image menu where you can see the different images it thinks will work well, or you can refine the search to fit your needs. If you're on Typeset Basic, you'll have access to Unsplash. And if you're on Typeset Pro, you'll have access to Getty Images as well as Unsplash. Both plans will also have access to the Your Files tab, and you can both upload your own files as well. If you want to add more images or just do a refined search right off the bat, you can do that anytime by just typing image on a new line and you can just select it from the suggestion and then perform your search from there. Now that I'm happy with this page, all I have to do 
is make more pages. I can do that by pressing enter three times at the bottom of my current page, one, two, and three. Or I can press the plus button right here at the bottom left. Or I can even press the new from template button. What that button does is it makes a new page and it starts you off with a template instead. And all of these templates are combinations of different functions within that slash menu. So if I need a nice title card with an introduction, border, and image, I'm good to go right here. Or maybe I need a meet the team card. I can get that going as well. And as you see, with the click of a button, it's good to go. And I can modify it to meet my needs. Some other great stuff in that slash menu would be things like our logo list, which you can find below right here. So you can make a who we work with slide very quickly. And as you can see here, we populate that really quickly for you. Or also, I also really like the social media list. If I just type social, I can get the list here. And then all you have to do is replace your social media links. And we'll go ahead and get that going for you. And all of these are clickable within your content. Now that I'm happy with my project, uh, I can go over different ways you can further modify it. On typeset, you also have this menu over here on the right hand side. The top option is our design and style menu. If you click it, you'll go ahead and pull into this menu where you can do things like changing your theme. So I can switch to dusk or stealth and see what my content looks like. And I can always just switch back to my original theme and no content was lost along the way. In addition to that, we do also have the customize menu where you can do things like change your fonts or your font size and much more. I invite you to go ahead and look into it on your own time once you start making your own projects. In addition to that, we do also have our export menu where you can export as PDF, images, or PowerPoint, and a variety of different layouts. And also online share links so that you can share your content quickly with the simple click of a button with a link, either publicly or privately. Now, earlier I mentioned that you didn't matter which of the three starting options you choose when you make your content and typeset. The reason why is that through our exporter tools, and whatnot, Typeset is continually making your content and all of the formats available within it. So my presentation is also simultaneously a document, an Instagram post, a banner, or a TikTok image, and whatnot. This is done through our exporter here. So if I go to the exporter, you can see that as I cycle through here, Typeset immediately shifts everything around in ways that make sense. And so that is why it is not necessary to necessarily make a, a choice at the beginning of your project. Feel free to choose one that starts you off in a way that works for you. And you can always shift things around after the fact and make sure that your content looks the way you want it to look. And then lastly, once you're done with your content and typeset, all you have to do is go to the typeset logo on the top left hand side. And you can go back to your home page. Typeset always saves your content for you to our servers so that you can close out at the end of the day, be totally fine. And then from there, if you'd like to edit your content in the future, just hover your mouse over a thumbnail and you'll have the option to edit it, or you can even present it or play it all from within Typeset to share it with the world. I hope this helped out and I can't wait to see what kind of content you make in the future. Take care.